Okay, and guess what are we gonna try today? Well, we're gonna attempt, I'm gonna attempt to teach mom how to use the little tractor. So you're gonna teach an old dog some new tricks? I guess. Hopefully. We if it starts. <laughs> if it starts. Okay, so we're gonna keep keep you posted at the progress, right? Yeah. Okay, what do you think my odds are that I'll be mowing that driveway today? Mm. <laughs> it's been sitting here for so long. Okay, we have neighbors who can jump us. But what about my ability to drive it? Mm, you'll probably learn pretty quick. It's pretty simple. Oh, he has so much confidence in me. That makes me feel happy. So it didn't have a battery. Yeah, the battery was kept in the garage, which actually I guess was kind of smart because that it has less chance of draining. So and Angus is going in to like install like the battery cool. now. That might help us, right? <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> And uh, you notice how Angus is doing this? Because this is something I definitely don't know how to do yet. Things I'm going to learn this year. Okay, so we're not going to learn how to drive yet. What are we going to learn to do right first? Charge the battery. Charge the battery. We are so smart. We put the battery back in, but realized that we hadn't charged it yet. So guess another new thing I learned to do today. Right, Angus? Yep. Okay. We'll, we'll be back. All right, so we're on day two here now, aren't we? Yes, now that the battery is actually charged and it's in there. Yes. Um, hopefully it works. <laughs> it did work and we did get it started, but now you're going to show me how to do it, right, Angus? Yep. Okay, and let's, uh, oh, before we do that. Close toed shoes. Yep. Eye protection. Yep. I've got a hat on. I'm putting on in my earplugs as we start here. Okay, this is all very important, right? Yep. Okay, so how do we start this baby? So we start with it like on like pretty low, you pull out the choke. Pull out the choke, that's called a choke. Yep. I've only ever driven automatic vehicles before. And then you um, push, this is automatic. Um, okay, but what, I don't know what the, the a choke push, is. Then um, the thing forward and... So you have to, he, he had to pull it to get, yeah. Okay, so I did it. Yep, um, it was quite a bit of work, as you can see. That's just a, a half of it. There's also the longer driveway, but um, I had to get over some of my fears. Yeah, uh, because uh, there were some angles where I was sure I was going to tip over in the tractor. But my very kind neighbor 
talked me through it and showed me how to do it. So that's one thing about homesteading. Make sure you make a good community with your neighbors because boy, did I ever need one even getting the tractor started and stuff today. So if this old lady who was born in the 60s can do this, I'm sure there's something you can tackle today that you're afraid of too. So if you're interested in some of the other things um, that we're doing in the homestead, please do be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing some preserving this week, which is a little bit more on my wheelhouse and something I'm a lot more comfortable with. So hopefully there's some new rhubarb and other recipes to show you there. And um, as always, I hope you take this chance to grow together today. Have a good one.